I've got an interview with Swift Academy on Monday at 9 a.m. And they said that they would help me uh, get my permit as well and pay for my hotel expenses or whatever, so that's pretty cool. Uh, excited, but I know a lot of you don't like Swift, and that's okay, but I think this is the best option for me and the commitment is only a year, so I can um, live out of my rig and save up money, <laughs> which is basically what I'm doing with right now, but I don't have hardly any money left. Had to sign an NDA for Swift uh, transportation. That must that was like the first time ever that's happened to me, and I'll be having my own room. Woohoo! For the whole month, I'm in the class part of the academy. What to expect for orientation at Swift? What do what I expected and what happened when I was there were a little bit different. Um, the office was short-staffed when I went, so there was only two recruiters working. And so, um, I'd say like maybe 15, 10 or 15 minutes after, maybe 20 minutes after I started talking to Dante, in orientation another student possible student joined us and then like 30 minutes after that another stu uh, possible student joined us so there was two other potential students there we did the interview and the walkthrough or the tour yeah when we did the tour so yeah we to uh toured the a truck or yeah we toured a truck and what it looked like on the inside got to sit in the driver's seat uh walked over to their employee employee center which has a cafeteria in it a store uh laundry showers a truck driver like gaming lounge kind of thing and some offices in it. Uh, apparently they just had that built not too long ago and um, the lot is really big and behind that is like a uh, trailer storage and behind that is the academy so um, when you do start school you park your car towards the front of the academy and you get a shuttle or towards the front of the recruiting office and you get a shuttle to the academy and I guess the shuttle picks you up uh, at seven or something and then uh, takes you out there and then it uh, drops you back off at four if you have your own car. If you don't have your own car and you're, you're getting a shuttle from the hotel, then the shuttle would pick you up at the hotel and take you to the academy. And then, um, I thought I wasn't going to be able to even do orientation in the first, or not orientation, but the rest of my interview process in the first place because my recruiter made it seem like, um, even be having been around people that had smoked lately that that would be in my system. But I had talked to some friends uh, during a short recess from my interview and my friends uh, said that that wouldn't be an issue in a drug hair follicle test. So I decided to go back in there and get what I want.
So I talked to his boss and um, explained the situation to her. And then um, Dante came up, <laughs> which was a little yikes. Uh, but um, yeah, we uh, sorted out the situation and everything was good and finished up orientation. So yeah. Also, when I was in the interview, they took, we did a, we were required to take a skills test that was a computer test. Uh, supposedly it was for English, but I think it, yeah, so it was, so you could be able to read the signs of the road. And that was like five or ten minutes of a test. This was after I had signed the NDA. Um, the NDA is only for SWIFT, uh, material provided by SWIFT. And um, that's what I got from the situation it, or the paperwork that I signed. If you um, have anything different to add, please let me know in the comments below. When you sign the NDA, you sign the NDA uh, online? Yeah, so you do everything electronically um, after your interview um, to the academy. So the hiring process, that all gets done and they give you calls. You have you you have to be hired by Swift to go to the academy, so they're not going to give you a spot in their academy if they don't uh, if they don't have a spot for you as a truck driver, which I think is pretty. So I've been getting some questions um, you do about Swift and the process, schooling, uh, tuition, and. So tuition is $7,995. Um, they put you up in a hotel as well for the whole month that you're going to the academy. And that is $1,500. To me, that is a pretty fair price as I've... Um, when I was working for Amazon, I was looking at um, rooms for rent in this in the area that is similar to where the academy is and uh prices for room rentals were fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars um so the total cost of uh tuition and room is nine thousand ninety five hundred or something i believe um so don't get, uh, they're on the higher side of, uh, trucking schools for sure. Um, but don't be like, oh, well, it's only going to cost $8,000. It's actually $1,500 more than that if you stay in a hotel with them. Just, uh, something to be aware of. I did have to sign an NDA a um I just learned a lot of p paperwork and repeat information over and over again in picky systems um they have you uh have all your basic information that you would normally have for a job and if you don't have your high school diploma, they require transcripts from your high school. So if you have your diploma, make sure that you have it. I mean, uh, I had to talk with my school, my high school last night and leave a message saying, please give this company my high school transcripts um, because they wouldn't just hand them over to Swift even though Swift had uh, paperwork, had a uh, paperwork with my signature saying that they could uh, send the transcripts. Um, I also had a sign, you have to sign a year 
contract with them that you will uh, fulfill that year, um, which is a benefit for you to just do the two years so your whole school is paid for. There's a gray area on whether or not the 1500 for hotel accommodations is paid for or not. Um, it says you may be reimbursed in the paperwork. Uh, so I hope this uh, helps out anybody that's thinking about uh, joining this company. For me personally, this is the right decision for me right now. I have bad credit. I have uh, no money left. I had to ask my dad for a loan so I could be able to make it through this month without having to have a side job so I could just focus all my time and energy onto this. I'm living out of my car which I love doing, but my car is getting older and I just feel like doing this would give me more financial stability. I understand that everybody is giving me advice and I appreciate it, but the advice is not asked for and not needed unless you are going through the exact same thing that I'm going through. If you're in my sort of a uh, situation and you um, didn't like it, you liked it, I don't care. You can send me your story. When you go to the Swift Academy, you do everything there. You get your, um, you take your test there Your for your permit. You take your permit test there. You take your um, CDL uh, driving test there. You get to drive with the trucks that you're actually going to drive. But I'll add that there will be a restriction on your license saying that you cannot drive manuals because you did not take your test in a manual. So if you want to be able to drive manuals in the future, that is something that you'll have to test for later. So just something to keep in mind if you're going to go with Swift. If you're on time, you're already late. Um, at uh, the health center where I'll be taking my drug and physical test, or my drug test and my physical, and the center is big and a little confusing, so I'm glad that I left early enough. Always uh, figure in traffic as well, and any construction, if you know, that is going to be in the area. So I already knew that construction was happening for like 10 miles or something. And so I always leave early when I'm coming in here. Okay, so when I went to get my physical, it was an interesting situation. Um... I went in there, I did the uh, physical, um, she had taken some, a little bit of pee before, and then um, we did the physical, and I, uh, they said that I w didn't have enough hair to do uh, the hair follicle drug test, so we had, I had to wait, we had to wait, and the staff there was really amazing because um, if they did not, if they put uh, denied or something on the paperwork that I would be disqualified for like two years or something like that for uh, not being able to get my truck driver license or something like that. So the staff was really awesome and they made sure that they uh, contacted Swift 
actually person to person and got the okay to do a urine test um, before I left the building or before I left the building uh, with with or without the things so that was pretty awesome of them so Swift said okay for the urine test but later uh, rejected the urine test and required a hair follicle drug test which uh, most companies do require if you're going to be training with them uh, the other companies that I have seen that offer or provide training a hair follicle dress drug test is required Check out, I don't know if you can see this, but look at these sweaty pits. My pits are sweating so bad. I just saw uh, the doctor and he was really cool. I passed, I got my medical card and my medical certificate. Yeah, baby, say no to drugs. <laughs> Anyways, uh, walking in my car now. Oh, update to the huge letdown of yesterday's. Um, I think I'm just gonna enjoy my time and live frugally until my hair grows out. I mean, if I have to, I'll look for a part-time job or something and then maybe quit before I start at Swift or... Um, because most of the places that I see are warehouses and they have weekend work, but it's like Friday, Saturday, and something, and I can't work, I can only work on Saturday and Sunday, so, um, if I did look for something, it would probably just be on Saturdays and Sundays, and, um, yeah, so just enjoying my time while I still have all the free time in the world. If you want to get with Swift in their truck driving academy uh, to get your class ACDL, you need to take a hair follicle drug test and your hair needs to be an inch to an inch and a half. Uh, I didn't know this before I cut my hair. I usually cut my hair every month and um i didn't know that before i cut my hair i didn't even know that i was going to be applying for swift academy so i cut my hair right before i did my interview and orientation unfortunately so now i have to wait um a month or two months for my hair to grow out enough for them to do hair follicle drug testing and why do they do this? Because driving a commercial vehicle is a huge responsibility. You're, you, it's like, it could be a killing machine. I mean, those things are ginormous on the freeway. So I totally understand why they do it. Uh, test for all drugs and not just certain drugs or whatever. So, um, yeah, but I don't have any hair anywhere on my b body. And the lab that they use here where I'm at is uh, they only do certain parts of your body. They'll only take hair from your legs, your arms, your underarms, or your head. Nowhere else will they take hair. Unfortunately, I had shaved all of my hair <laughs> on my body um, just recently, so they couldn't take any hair from anywhere. Um, yeah. While you're in the academy, they do do random hair follicle or urine drug tests, so keep that in mind. Um, when I was at the physical place, the um, receptionist told me that they were in there all the time, and mostly they just do urine tests, but when you first apply, a hair follicle drug test is required, but... You never know what they're going to test you for, so... If you want to get into Swift Academy you, and you have a bald head like me or close to bald head, your hair is going to have to be an inch to an inch and a half. 
I want to say that all of the recruiters that I've worked with, um, I was uh, talking to recruiters in Washington before I start before I decided that I wanted to be over the road for a little bit um, just on my own. Those recruiters and the recruiter that I'm currently talking to and all of the staff that I've worked with in the hiring process and stuff have been really amazing in the places that I've been in, either in Washington or here where I'm at now. My recruiter, Dante, is amazing. He checks in on me. He's been checking in on me every week since I've uh, had to grow out my hair. And, um, yeah, they're pretty awesome. What's happening now? I'm still waiting for my hair to grow out. How do you think it's going? It's probably about a half an inch right now, or maybe a little more. I've been taking prenatal vitamins because they say that makes your hair grow faster, but I don't know. It looks kind of the same as it does a month. If I've gone a month without uh, shaving it, I hate, I just, I want to shave it. <laughs> I want to shave it. Um, I get uh, check-ins from my Swift recruiter. I've been getting check-ins from my Swift recruiter every week. But uh, this last phone call, he said he would call me in two weeks to see how everything was going. Because I told him it was going slowly. He said to drink more water with the vitamins because the vitamins don't work if you don't drink enough water. So I have not been drinking enough water because it's kind of cold outside and I have to get in and out of my car to go to the bathroom. So yeah, but that's what's going on now. I have a couple of job interviews lined up for weekend jobs. Um, one that I'm super excited about, and yeah, I'll keep you all posted on what happens next with Swift. Thanks for watching. Please like and su subscribe as it helps my channel out.